What does Jesus think about divorced people? You don't have to guess the answer to that question because the Bible gives it. Maybe you've heard the story of when Jesus met with the woman at the well. who wasn't just in a bad marriage and she wasn't just divorced. She had been divorced so many times that if one more happened, she would have needed two hands to count them. Here's this multiple times divorced woman and the divine Lord sitting down at the well for a conversation. And you know what happens? Jesus is full of grace and truth. He's full of truth. He has something to say about divorce, about this woman's heart. He cares about her. He cares so much that even if it gets awkward, even if he has to, to ram this topic into the conversation, he, he needs to talk to her about divorce because he's full of truth. Divorce hurts people. Divorce never happens without sin. He wants to know what's in her heart that she keeps going from man to man and divorce to divorce. He's full of truth. But he's also full of grace. In fact, one of my favorite passages in the Gospel of John is one you might skip. John 4 verse 4 said, Now Jesus had to go through Samaria. Any first century Jew would have read that and said, No, you, you could walk around Samaria. In fact, most of us do, but, but not Jesus. He had to. Why does the Bible say that? Because he had to let this divorced woman know that God was full of grace. That being ostracized as a five-time divorcee did not disqualify her from the grace of God. And maybe Jesus had to speak to you today for that same reason. Maybe this seems like a coincidence that, that you and I are talking right now, but maybe Jesus wanted to make so clear that even if you've been divorced twice, five times, God is full of grace. There is still love. There is forgiveness. There is a place at God's table with your heavenly Father no matter what happened with your marriage. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And guess who's in the world? Divorced people. You. So come to Jesus with your questions. And know this, that whatever he says, it will be full of grace and truth. It will be full of incredible love for people just like you. Hey everyone, it's Pastor Mike. As you were listening today, could you think of one person in particular in your life who could really use this message? I have a hunch if you take just a second, someone's name or face might pop into your brain. We'd love for you to share this episode so people just like that, that you love and that God loves, can learn more about God's love. So take a moment, share this episode with someone you care about. Thanks so much for spreading the good news of Jesus and have an amazing day.